So we are doing a face-off between War Colors Metallic Paints and Games Workshop Metallic Paints because it's Black Friday! So right out of the pot, the War Colors Metallic LED is a more fluid compared to the Games Workshop's LED Belcher. The LED Belcher we'll be using right here has been thinned down with um, Vallejo airbrush thinner in a ratio of about um, 1 to 1 so the games workshop paint as you can see is still significantly thicker than the wall colors paint so let's see how this works out so first up is wall colors metallic lead we will be coating the magazine of the gun in wall colors metallic lead and one of the knee pads in wall colors metallic lead Right here you can see the War Colors Metallic LED is not as opaque as what you would usually get but it seems to get better when it dries. Okay, we're trying to achieve a even coat with the War Colors Metallic LED over here. So next up we have uh, Citadel Paints LED Belcher. We will be coating the magazine and the, sh uh, and the knee pads. As you can see, the thin down LED Belcher achieves a far more opaque coat one coat is sufficient to, to base the entire miniature so next we will have a side by side comparison from the two paints as you can see the wall colors metallic LED gives a brighter shine than the LED voucher um, it appears to me that the wall colors has, uses a smaller metallic granule than uh, LED voucher so a lot less grainy and the downside is I guess what colors require about two to three coats to achieve an even coating so we'll move on to the gold next so pouring out the metallic choco as you can see the metallic choco behaves very differently from the metallic lead it's a gel base and it looks a lot more consistent than the lead for the retributor gold we have thinned it down to a ratio of about 1 paint to 2 thinners it's still relatively thick but tends to retain its consistency so now we are painting the wall colors metallic choco onto the, the miniature looks like the coverage is a lot better yep so this is how the miniature looks after it's been coated with wall colors metallic choco um, it's a pretty consistent shine gives you a very brushed metal look slightly more matte than what I'm used to so next we'll be coating the Retributor Armor Retributor Armor is uh, opaque as we are really used to and this is the side by side the wall colors metallic charcoal does give a more consistent shine because I guess it uses a smaller metallic granule than uh, Citadel paints but the Citadel paints are definitely more opaque so now we're gonna test uh, how I brush medium works with the paints as you can see the wall colors metallic charcoal separates less but as you can see look at the retributor armor it started to bubble yeah all the metallic paints start to bubble didn't really notice that before it's interesting now my findings are that um, the wall colors paints tend to separate a lot less or at least they separate slower than the citadel paints in airbrush so I guess it will be more consistent in an airbrush so in summary this is what I feel about the individual paint brands I've been using citadel paints for years and uh, honestly I'm very impressed by the wall colors metallic range if you're thinking of hopping onto the wall colors bandwagon I guess now is the best time because there's a 15% discount at the time of this recording so we have come to the end of this review video if you found this information really useful, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It means a lot to us and it helps us produce more content like this. Thank you and we hope to see you soon!